Hello everyone. Uh, how's everybody doing? I hope your view is doing great. Now, today we'll go over an important set of pharmacological drugs, specifically beta adrenergic blockers. Now, as you guys have learned in nursing school, basically beta adrenergic blockers are drugs that help lower the blood pressure, the pulse rate, and the cardiac output. Now, beta blockers are going to be an important set of drugs that you might encounter in your NCLEX exam, so try to make sure to uh, pay close attention and uh, take note uh, about beta blockers. Now sometimes beta blockers are used to treat uh, migraine headaches and other vascular headaches. Uh, other uses include uh, treating glaucoma and obviously is used to prevent uh, myocardial infarctions. Okay. Now try to remember that what beta blockers do is that basically they act uh, by blocking the sympathetic vasomotor response in the body. For the NCLEX exam, remember that the syllables for beta blockers is usually OLOL, right? O-L-O-L. And the potential side effects of uh, beta blockers would include orthostatic hypotension, bradycardia, nausea and vomiting, and diarrhea. And also some of the symptoms that can uh, mask hypoglycemia, right? Now, hypoglycemic symptoms can include confusion, uh, heart palpitations, excessive sweating, and uh, anxiety, okay? Now, nursing interventions for clients taking beta blockers that you need to know is that we make sure that you monitor the client's blood pressure, the heart rate, and the rhythm before obviously administering the beta blocker drug. We also have to monitor the client's signs of edema, and the nurse should also assess the lung sounds for signs of rails or ronchi, okay? Now, when, uh, when, patient, when our patient is taking beta blockers, it is also very important to monitor the lab values such as protein, BUN, and creatinine, okay, which can indicate uh, a problem such as nephrotic syndrome, okay? Now, as nurses, you can do teaching to the client such as telling patients to rise slowly due to orthostatic hypotension, which can be a safety issue, so that's very important. And also, we, we need to report signs of bradycardia. Uh, dizziness, confusion, or fever because um, it can mask other problems and also it's important to taper this medication properly. Okay, now I'm just going to make this short and sweet for you guys. Thank you so much. I hope you guys are studying very hard for your NCLEX exam. I know you guys will do best. Thank you again for watching. God bless.